All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome in. You have found us once again. Shoot the gap, the rabbit hole fantasy football focus show here to help you to be gruntled with your fantasy football team and your fantasy football decisions. I am your humble host, Brian the Amigo Baldwin, and it's my honor, my pleasure to introduce to you, Connor. We got Marshall. How you doing, Connor? I'm doing good, man. I'm happy to talk about the games and you know let's 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 get into it bro <laughs> okay all right pretty direct pretty direct it, this is our 125th show uh september 30th it's actually the last day and mm-hmm. so uh, yeah and uh it's time to pay the rent guys so <laughs> yeah get it together yeah and uh today we have a fantastic show for you fantastic we're gonna be going we're going to be talking about the game from last night, of course. You know, I mean, there's some stuff to talk about, and we're going to get our take. You're going to get our takes on it. Uh, then we'll also go over the latest news. Uh, where actually, this is the waiver wire, or not waiver wire, the uh, start or uh, shooter sees fire, which is the starter sit show. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be doing that for week four. And then also, there's another round of Merry Early Christmas. And Connor, I made it easier on you this time. Thank you. Because I, I know last time I was going really, really deep on you. For, for those that missed it last week, Brian was uh, coming with a vengeance. He made sure that I was not a perfect four for four. <laughs> I I did knock you down a little bit, dude. You're you're strutting a little bit. You're strutting a little and bit. In the that. eternal words of Brian, let's not get penisy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, last night, last night, uh, Cincinnati they defeated the Miami Dolphins twenty-seven to fifteen. Um, what stuck out to you on the at the game? On the game. Um, you know, um, the, well, I, I personally, uh, thought that the Bengals were going to win the game. We, we talked about it, uh, you know, cause you and me are in two, uh, group chats. We're in a a group chat with the doc and we're in a group chat with Barack. And in both of them, uh, you know, I let it be known that I thought the Bengals were going to win, even though all the numbers, all the talking heads thought otherwise, although Vegas did agree with me. And, uh, you thought that the the Dolphins were going to win. Now, of course, um, I did not predict the circumstantial uh, kind of reason for the Bengals winning the game. A lot of people would argue if Tua was in that game that it would have been a lot different. Uh, Obviously, you know, our thoughts and prayers are up with Tua and his family. Although I will say, uh, Evan McPherson, man, whenever he drilled that 57-yard field goal, and it was good from 64 yards out, balls of steel, man. The ball's on that guy. Yeah, I was play. Um, I'm playing against him this week. I'm I sorry. Did not, I dislike that greatly. Yeah, especially <laughs> since I had uh, Jalen Waddle. But <clears throat> fuck. Yeah, yeah. So it it you know I mean it's one of those things, dude. It's one of those um, things. it's a it's a tough it's a tough way to start, but I mean it's just it's just one player that didn't do well for. Me. Yeah, and, and <clears throat> Thursday doesn't Thursday often oftentimes does not decide your matchup. So I wouldn't be too hung up on it. I, I'm trying not to be. I'm trying not to be. But still, the fact remains that, you know, that uh, Waddle was injured. You know, he was, I mean, I don't know if you saw that, but he was kind of reaching for his groin a lot. And he, and he actually went out of the game uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. So he didn't. Yeah, he was not 100 percent. You could tell. That sucks. Um, I, yeah. But I mean, it's one of those things that up till that point, um, I wouldn't uh, you, you don't sit that guy. Right. And um, I will tell you, though, that. um if well, I'm pretty sure next week Teddy Bridgewater is going to be the quarterback, right? I'm, I'm at least next week, the very least. I'm going right? to predict if, the if, next four weeks. Okay, if not longer, right? Yeah, and as long as, or at least next week. Okay, so I'm not going to be so bold to say you know for the next month, but at least next week. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, sit Jalen Waddle, find something else. All right, because, are you still starting uh, Hill? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, because okay. Bridgewater only saw Hill. That's the only person he saw. There was mm-hmm. nobody else that existed on that last play of the game. If you saw uh, Jalen, well, you probably didn't watch it because I, 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 mean, I, I was watching Jaylen. the entire game at Buffalo Wild oh, Wings, oh, 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 actively oh. Shooting, rooting for the Bengals because there were people there rooting for the Dolphins. So anytime okay. the Bengals did something, I was like, yeah! <laughs> but, yeah, so it wasn't, uh, I'm talking about seeing Jalen Waddle because nobody was focusing on Jalen Waddle, only the ones that were, you know, your guy, yeah, you focused that, on him. Yeah, if you were managing him, yeah. you were, yeah. Yeah. In the last play of the game, he was wide open. Uh, those probably about the closest player was probably um, at most three yards close to him, so he was pretty wide open. And um, and Hill was uh, double covered, and he forced it and, to him. Mm-hmm, because that's yep. who he sees. 
That's what he sees. And I started thinking about that. I'm like, well, you know, if I was Teddy Bridgewater and I had a chance to throw to Tyreek Hill, I think I'd probably do that too. It is <laughs> worth noting that I I want to say Waddle and Tua were college teammates at Bama. So that's, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Now that Tua isn't, they're throwing to Waddle, he's probably going to go down a little. Yeah, so I I would um like if you read like um I've I've read like write ups you know you know what I'm talking about like Yahoo has the write up there's other places that have write ups about players how their performance was and their analyzation of it one of them Yahoo says actually said um about about uh, Waddle let's see let me make sure that I I got the right oh yeah he says that it showed all the stats of how he'll out has how been out out targeted by uh how's out targeted Waddle. How he'll like the yards and everything like that, like all this information showing that he'll's getting all the love, right? And then they end it with, "Well, there's no league in the land that will sit Jalen Waddle, so there's no reason to tell you guys." All right, that's basically what they said. The other one was saying, "Well, Waddle's really good at making something out of nothing, so he should have a bounce back no matter who throwing the ball." I'm telling you, sit him for the first week. It's the first week of the season all over again. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't, you, and, and we're in it. We're in deep now. Like, and so, you know, you just sit them. Hopefully, you have a better pivot, and then uh, and and see what what happens. That's what I'm recommending, Waddle. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. a Waddle manager. That's what I'm doing. But I'm blessed enough to have uh, Christian Kirk playing Houston next week. So that that's yeah, I'm okay with sitting Waddle, you know, and uh, putting that guy in my flex. But um, yeah, so he, so that's Waddle. Uh, we already talked a little bit about Tyree Kill. Um, so yeah, he had uh, Tyree Kill, dude. This is what I was I was uh, talking about. I mean, with um, with Hill, dude. I mean, he was like what fourteen targets, ten receptions, one hundred sixty yards. Target okay. monster. Yeah, right. And you and Waddle, you know, he got five targets. You know, and <laughs> had thirty nine yards. And the reason why I even. That's even a big thing because apparently there was some sort of Vegas bet where like all the receivers got f- at least forty yards, and if Hill would have got or um, Waddle would have gotten one more yard, then like a lot of people would have made a lot of money. So and they were pretty upset about it. So oh, a bunch always of, wins. Yeah, um, Mi- uh, Mixon. There's a Joe Mixon sighting. Yeah, the dude's alive. Yeah, yeah. Joe Mixon plays football. Barack yeah, is happy. Yeah. Our very own the commish. Uh, we were talking about it. He's like, I need Joe Mixon to go off, and he he kind of went off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, sixty one yards, twenty four touch, touch. It's good. Four receptions. Yeah. T Higgins. T Higgins was the love of uh, Burrow's eye. Okay, I mean, he got all the love. Uh, nine targets, seven receptions, one hundred twenty four yards, and a TD. Mm-hmm. And and to my wife's dismay, dismay, Jamar Chase, five, six targets, four receptions. 81. Yeah, I, I would just chalk that up to Jamar getting the, you know, the Xavion Howard designation yeah, all day. I mean, if, if you watch the, the plays, like, they were scheming Higgins open, man. That one play where Joe Burrow rolled out to his right and Higgins did that, like, like that route, like the in, <laughs> out, do, bah, and then just, boom, just perfect throw. Like, you, right. you can't write it up any better. Yeah. yeah. Um. Backfield, Miami, who do you trust? Uh, I mean, nobody now. I mean, you know, it's kind of sucks. It's like, I mean, you know, you, you saw flashes. You know, I mean, I've been looking and Chase Edmonds is getting points in our league, but Mostert looked good yesterday, so. But he only got like 12, 12.60, something like that. Who, most, points. Uh, Ed, 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 yeah. Ed Edmonds? No, Mostert in Mostert. our league. Yeah, and a yeah. lot of that was on that one big run that he broke off. And for people who are unaware, in our league, if you break a run to that quantity, you get like an extra four to six points. So he really didn't do that good in standard scoring. Yeah, I juice the league. Yeah, but I love um, it. <laughs> it makes things. Um, yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, he's like the between the twenties guy, and then Edmonds is like the hammer. I mean, you just can't. You can't trust any of them. Look, and so, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just going to say it. Everyone was like nervous about investing in the Dolphins uh, offense this year, and they looked great. But two was out now. So I would I would call uh, a ceasefire on all Dolphins players besides Tyreek Hill until further notice. Yep. Yep. Just him. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Jason's. No, oh, no. I was going to say Jason Sanders, but he doinked he done, an extra he point. He done fucked up his field goal. Nah, he's out. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, any more thoughts on the game? No, let's move on to uh, right. the... the th- Merry Early Christmas! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, let's do some Merry Early Christmas. 
I so. got I got the music. Yeah, you got the Christmas music. All right, cool. All right. So I've always found that it's best to give bad news in a good way. So this segment is where I say Merry Early Christmas to a player's manager. And Connor will try to guess why. And I made it a lot easier this Thank time you, for sir. you, Connor. Yes. Well, don't make it too easy. I want it to be a struggle, but I don't. I want. I want a medium between the time I went undefeated and last week. <laughs> Give me cut the split the difference. Well, yeah, dude. I mean, I was like, like giving the gift to like you know, linemen. You were, and stuff yeah, like that. you were, yeah, you were like, you are not getting any. But hit, hit <laughs> no. me with it. Hit me with it, brother. Yeah. Uh, Merry early Christmas, Joshua Palmer. Man. Oh fuck! Is that because? Uh, oh, that's because uh, Guyton's out for the year. Hmm. The Chargers, really, but... you, you you talking about the Chargers? Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. That that's that's not the. That's who yeah, else sure. could it be? Oh, Keenan Allen's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, nice and easy. That's because yeah. my mind only accepts that news as meaning that Mike Williams is going to do good. That's that's how my brain's working. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you're probably yeah, right. I, yeah, Allen. How I many he continues to deal with the hamstring issue that he suffered in Week One? Kept him from playing weeks two and three, but hasn't stopped him from practicing the last two weeks. Yeah, and um, as, as as Houston Rockets fans, we know hamstring issues they they stick around. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it does look like uh, Connor was saying that the uptick will be for Mike Williams. I'm telling you, man, uh, it's real tempting, especially because of the landscape. But I wouldn't do the Gerald Everett route. I'm telling you, he had his opportunity uh, like last week. What happened last week, uh, Joshua Palmer, that's why he's the one getting the gift. Because Joshua Palmer last week was the one that got all the targets without Keenan Allen being there. It wasn't Everett. It was Palmer. And it was, uh, and they uh, trying to shoot for Williams. So those are the ones that get the gift, man. So that's why I did not include Gerald Everett. Because I wouldn't, I just don't trust it, man. It just seems like a trap. Against, it's like, oh, against Houston, you know, and Allen's out. It just seems, ah, I just smell a trap. A trap. You know, for uh, uh, for Everett. Uh, Mary, uh, any thoughts on more on that? Say uh, Merry early Christmas, Andy Dalton. Jers. Jamez Winston is out, and it appears that Andy Dalton has gotten the start over Voldemort. So, <laughs> yeah. Would you start Voldemort though? Uh, depends if I'm in a Yahoo league because he is still registered as a tight end. That's what I'm saying. Like in tight end, would you put it? Would you put him in this time? If I'm down bad, yeah. If I'm, yeah. if I'm like, I don't know if I start him over Everett, but that's kind of the territory we're getting. Yeah, it's probably. So, okay, check this out. This is the situation. All right. Um, my wife is going against uh, Tyreek Hill and T Higgins. All right. She has Jamar Chase, so you can you know where she's at. All right, she's not in a good spot, okay? Because both um, Hill and Higgins really blew up. So, in that case, I'm trying to tell her that, man, you need to start to uh, taste some Hill because you need a Hail Mary pass. You need something. Well, Brian, you know? I'll just be honest. The best way to get Lori to start Taysom Hill is to try to trade her something for it. Because if you tell oh. her to start him, she probably won't. But if you try to trade her for him, she's going to think all of a sudden, why does he want Taysom Hill? And then she's, then she's going to start him. Okay, well, to be fair, I don't ever tell her to start somebody. I just give her, like, I give her the options. No, I'm, I'm she not make, saying she tell her, but I'm saying, like, give her the advice. But you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm really big about that because I want her to learn how to play. I don't want to just say, here's your team. I'll run it for you. No, yeah. I, I make her make a decision. Yeah, Um. so yeah, yeah. No, that, she should. That Kamara's out, too. It's like the, the stars are the stars are aligned. I know. I know. If you're in a situation like that, that's what I'm saying. That's like a desperate situation. I mean, that's yeah. like you had Jamar Chase. He didn't really do that as good as you hoped. Then you're going against Hill and Higgins. <laughs> Get a beat. Full point PPR. Yeah, it was rough. It was rough. All right. So we Very fight early. fire with fire and you fight Hill with Hill. <laughs> 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 last one. Last one. Merry early Christmas, Josh Reynolds. Fuck, who the fuck does Josh Reynolds play for now? Does he still play uh -huh. for the Rams? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I feel like he plays for the Titans now for some reason. Final answer? Uh I'm gonna guess he's still on the Rams, and I'm gonna guess that it's cause Van Jefferson is out again. Detroit break a breakout wide receiver of Armin Ross St. Ah! Brown has been ruled out for Sunday's game. Yes. Dave Brown suffered a right ankle sprain week three and will need to miss at least one game while he recovers. 
of course, you would think it's DJ Shark. DJ Shark also has an injury. He's a little kind of gimpy right now in question. So, the next guy up, Josh Reynolds. Yeah, he, he came into Detroit last last year towards the end. Yeah, they picked him up, and he was, I think, what I think he's was college teammates with Jared Goff, and so there's like already a chemistry. Is Amon Ross St. Brown a firstborn? Uh, a firstborn? Is he the firstborn son of his family? It's just out of oh, curiosity. I, I see. I see. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. That's a little I'm biblical humor enough. for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, little Metallica. That's cool. All right, man. Well, let's, uh, in, and also to quote Metallica, I'm going to fight fire with fire. Nice. And here you go. Let's move on to the news. Can you, I'm, I'm sorry, can you start that over? I, I couldn't hear any of it. I want the, I, I want the fans to, <laughs> we heard the no. ending though. There you go. There we go, man. You talked ah. over it. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, well, there we're, wasn't we're, anything. I waited oh, like wasn't? five, no, I waited like five seconds. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. If well, we got the best part. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. Yeah, okay, cool, man. Even right. if just the doc is listening, I'm I'm sure he's glad he he got to hear the whole. The okay, whole drop. cool. All right, awesome, awesome. All right, um, we'll start with some. I mean, I. I uh, this is something that I, I really think I'm going to be bold enough to say this that I think the NFL uh, I think they should have given a bye week to Tampa Bay. I mean the, the Tampa Bay game is going is going to continue in Tampa um, with Kansas City. I don't think that's a good move. I, I knew that they were talking about moving it to Minnesota. I didn't think that was a good move either. I thought the best thing to do is to give them a bye week. I mean the, even the most horrible you know boss that you can think of. If you guys went through a hurricane, they'd say, hey, you know, take the day off, you know, take the week off so you can get your stuff together. You know, you can fi- you know, fix what needs to be done. Um, and the NFL decided that they wanted to play a game instead of giving the the uh, the Bucks that um, the ability to help their family and, you know, and, and be there for them. They need to be. definitely so a shitty move on the NFL's part. Yeah, it's inhumane. It's inhumane. It's uncom- uncompassionate and inhumane. It's all about the money. And, and let's be real. I mean, we're here in Houston, so we've been, I've been through three uh, hurricanes. Me I as think, well. Uh, I, I was, you, I was what, a young lad, but I've been, yeah, I remember Hurricane Katrina. Me and my family, uh, we actually went out to Copper's Cove. And then during Hurricane Ike, I stayed at. Uh, K- K- Katrina didn't hit here. That's Louisiana. Okay, but what was the other one that also ended in Ena around the same that, time? Well, was it well, Rita? Was a, Hurricane Rita? Yeah, but Rita, Rita hit near Beaumont. They didn't come here either. I guess I've only been through two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, but but, but I've been me... through a lot of other stuff that fogs my memory. So I thought it okay. was three. It doesn't matter. the The question I would ask you is: about three or four days after you went through the hurricane, are you thinking about wanting to go to a football game? No. No, <laughs> no, no way, man! You're just listening to the news, hoping the power comes back on. You know, like eating no, crackers I'm thinking, and yeah, chips. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm getting tired of eating spaghettios. That's what no I'm shit. thinking. No shit, dude. Conserving gas. You're not gonna want to drive your gas to the stadium. Yeah. I mean, not. I mean, dude, it's it's insane. It's ridiculous. And so, I, I don't know, man. I I really think that they that the NFL uh, is making a bad decision. But of course, they didn't ask me. So I just wanted, that was the one that to start was their off problem. With that. They should have, they should have, they should have asked both. They should have asked you that. They should have asked me if Tua should play the game. Yeah. And then they, they would have two issues, you know, avoided. Nice and easy. Nice, nice and, easy. and easy. Come on. What are you doing? Roger? Subscribe. Goodell's, like and subscribe. Subscribe. Right. <laughs> hit the bell. Hit, hit the, bell. the bell. Yeah. That's probably the problem. You didn't hit the bell. They didn't All hit right. the bell. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of Tampa, offensive coordinator Byron Leftwich says he will do more to get rookie running back Rashad White. Involved in game. Uh, yeah, that doesn't mean jack shit if he keeps dropping the one or two passes Tom Brady throws his way every game. There are three games. White has to offer any uh, meaningful contributions. He has he had rushed for eight times for f- 15 yards and caught two passes for seven yards. That's almost two yeah. yards per carry. Yeah. Um, Fournette has been uh, questionable lately, and he's handled 74% of the team's snaps. So... Um, 
you already hear how how a um, Leonard Fournette manager is reacting. All right, let me tell you what a what a uh, sane person. Is. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you see me just like like just nervously like no, it all has I to do, go to I, 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 I couldn't finish it. I couldn't finish it. You kept jumping in there. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, so that's how now we all know how Leonard Fournette managers handle. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that I think that they're doing that because they want to uh, conserve Fournette. And you're probably going to see a downtick in the usage, oh, all right, God, as far, or, or as many snaps. But you will not see a downtick in the important snaps, okay? The, uh, the short yardage situation, the goal line situation, two-minute drills. You're going to see Fournette the whole time. The other times, you're going to see White, okay? So that's the way that, that, uh, that you should take it, okay? Don't, don't get too emotional about it. You're probably going to see less of Fournette out there, but not when it matters. Not whenever the fantasy points matter. I would still, so I, I would still argue that if White keeps dropping passes, Brady is going to cut that, nip that shit in the bud real quick. Yeah, absolutely right. No, yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, if he even cares. Uh, Chris Godwin and Julio Jones, they were both limited participants. Uh, their game time decisions. What's your gut telling you there, uh, Connor? Uh, Tom Brady's favorite guy right now is mike evans and mike evans is gonna go the fuck off uh for those of you who don't remember mike evans defended his boy tom brady and what's pretty cool is bruce arians was on the sidelines he was like yo like go go take him out and then mike he sent him in he sent him in i was like yes that's football and you know brady's gonna reward him man I, i think it's gonna be the evans show uh Godwin, I don't think they're going to rush him back. I think I think they'd rather send Julio Jones out there. He's the cheaper uh, player, and he's kind of more of a rental. Godwin, they they kind of more want him for the long haul. I, I would lean towards Julio suiting up and Godwin not, but I still think it's going to be the Mike Evans show. I also think Russell Gage is going to play, uh, barring setbacks. And you know, I'm going to go on a limb. I think Gronk's coming back this year, man. I think I think it's going to happen. I think Brady's going to be like, look, bro. I fucking need you. Let's run it back. Well, you got to look at his cruise schedule. He's when he's back in, when he docks again. Yeah, I think he might still be out there living the cruise life. Uh, New England, New England quarterback Mac Jones has been declared out, and Brian Hoyer is set to uh, make a start. So fire up Ramondre Stevenson and Damian Harris, and nobody, nobody else. else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> J- J- J.K. Dobbins has been listed as good to go for Sunday. Just real quick, would you start him, Connor? Brian, I conceded to you that his nickname is Dobby. That should tell you everything you need to know about my stance yeah! on him. <laughs> I won. Uh, Trent Williams. Let's talk about him. Uh, this is the uh, San Francisco's uh, Pro Bowl uh, lineman. I mean, and let me tell you why. You're like, well, this is a fantasy show, man. We don't Defense pick up linemen. and the matchup. Right? Well, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. And, and this is not like I. He's a defensive seems like, lineman, right? A defensive end. No, off, offensive oh, lineman. Oh, offensive line. lineman. Oh, I'm more yeah, interested yeah, now. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, because Jimmy G is in mobile. Yeah. He, well, he's a high ankle sprain. Okay, suffered in the team's loss to the uh, Broncos. All right. Now it's going to keep him out four to six weeks. Okay. Now, it's a big blow to the 49ers for sure. And uh, Connor went ahead and just laid out your the first thoughts like, oh, Jimmy G, that's going to be a problem. But there's one person that nobody... George that, Kittle. Yes! Because he's a one. great blocker, so he's going to have that's to block more now. As soon as Williams was taken out of the game, that's why his production went away. If, you, if you're a manager of George Kittle and you saw him in the beginning and he was getting touches, you're like, all right, great, you know, he's back, I'm going to be fine, and you have yeah. dreams of already, like, uh, choosing what ring you're going you know, to buy, you know, after you win the championship. And all of a sudden, it stopped. And the reason why is like because... Uh, <laughs> well, and so it's and uh, so the reason why is that because they you started using George Kittle as a blocker. He's an excellent tight end, which means that he's an excellent pass catcher, and like Connor said, he's an excellent blocker. Yep. So yeah, so if you have Kittle, I would try to sell him right now. I really would. You know, hopefully that people there's still hope there. Yeah. Because I don't think you're going to be really happy with his production. And I hope I'm wrong. I'm probably you know hopefully I'm I wrong. I think you're going to be right. This, yeah. And if this is just yeah. this is what I'm seeing. I'm yeah, going uh, to try to buy low in two to three weeks whenever the Kittle manager in our league is disgruntled. You know what? That, that'd be a good idea, like, in a month. You yeah. know, whenever, right before... Right before like, he Williams. comes back, because Bombada's yeah. too stupid to figure that out. Oh, easy now. Yeah, um, <laughs> he doesn't watch the show. See. Yeah, I'm just going to run through this real quick. Um, of course, 
Joey Bosa was placed on IR. Um, so that's that's but the, the linebacker. But the, the cornerback for the Chargers, though, is not injured. So I am starting go. the Chargers this week against the Texans. But the tw- 2021 Pro Bowl offensive tackle, Rashawn Slater, is out for the season with a torn bicep. Fuck. Yeah, so, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, David Montgomery's been ruled out, and I want to talk about this, okay? Because it's it's like all system go for Khalil Herbert, right? Versus the Giants. I'm but, sad uh, about that, man. Yeah, but let me tell you. Yeah, so am I. Um, but even though Tony Pollard and Zeke looked really good against the Giants' defense last week, listen to this, okay? Listen to how the running backs without a passing attack did. Week one, Derrick Henry, 21 rushes, 82 yards, zero touchdowns. Week two, CMC, Christian McCaffrey, 15 rushes, 102 yards, zero touchdowns. Okay, so that that's a far, far cry from the 157 yards and two touchdown performance from last week. So I would say that, that Herbert is a startable, but I don't think it's as, like, knockout. It's not like they're going to play the Texans every week. Okay, so, yeah, Easy. I... I yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, just I'm just trying to say, but based on what he did last week, okay. Not no, I'm not picking no, I on got the. You. I got I'm not. You. It could have been anybody. Yeah, it just happened I to got be. You. The I, I, I just gotta stand up for my boys, bro. You know. But they're the ones that allowed 257 yards. I, I know, touchdowns. and then they're my boys. So even though they don't fucked up, I gotta I gotta stand up for them. Good enough. All right, DeAndre Swift. Um, he's out. So Jamal Williams is good. I mean, he was already, you know, taking the goal line. You should short be yard swift situation. to start Williams in your matchup. <laughs> hey, hey, look at you, dude. You're already, you're dead already. Uh, Dalton Schultz back. Uh, he logged into full practice today. So that's very sick. Uh, wide receiver, Michael Gallup set to make his debut on Sunday. Um, I, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it. I'll start sit here in a yeah. second. Uh, Buffalo, Buffalo Bills wide receiver Gabe Davis and tight end Dawson Knox are both listed as questionable. Gabe but it Davis does look... did tell reporters, I'm going to play. There you go. That, and then Knox practiced in a limited fashion uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the only concern I would have about Davis is that he said the exact set, same thing last week. He was usually, he was made usually as, as diversionary. He wasn't really used in the Gabe Davis, uh, like you saw, you know, at the beginning yeah, it was of the uh, bullshit. Yeah, so I'd be worried about him. I mean, I, and um, I was listening to another podcast, and they were boldly saying that, you know, I know it sucks, but you should probably pivot from Gabe Davis. I kind of want to recommend that too, but we'll, we'll, I'm we'll get that. I'm not going to do that. There. I'm going to start him, and he's going to do awesome. And everyone's going to look at this episode and be like, wow, you know, the gut was a genius. Excellent. Um, yeah, so Christian McCaffrey has been listed as questionable. We're on the train, dude. We're on the train. We're on the train, dude. I mean, it's it's, it's only week three, and you're already it's week four. He's questionable. Week four, excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, he's already questionable. Is he gonna play? He's not gonna play. Blah blah. It's, oh it's my god. It's almost like we were saying he's not the bell of the ball that some other shows, fantasy football shows, yes. said he was. I'm so glad. This makes me. I'm so happy that I did not draft him. I'm, you know, I'm just. Yeah. I'm so happy that he's not on my team. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I, you know. If he plays, you got to start him. But if he doesn't, there's no direct backup. It's probably going to be some mixture of Dante, Deontay Foreman and, and Chuba Hubbard. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't know. Uh, Alvin Kamara, um, he's expected to play. Um, his, court date, his court hearing date was moved in November. And Michael Thomas rolled out for Sunday, which means a lot more opportunities for Mr. Chris Oldham. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, Voldemort. And, and Voldemort. <laughs> yeah, Voldemort. Yeah, Voldemort. Anytime you bring oh. up the Saints, I'm just like, Voldemort? Voldemort, yeah. <laughs> you got a 50% chance of being right. Yeah, uh, so I like those odds. Um, okay, all right. That that wasn't any news I might have missed. Uh, Say Connor, to... la. All right, so before we get on to the shooter cease fire for the rest of the week, let's give some props. Supporters of the show. High volume music radio, the pride of Sunnyside. With shows like rock and roll radio, bring back the A track, the Brown Sugar Express, and blame it on the boogie with Ant Boogie. Log in now at highvolumeradio.com. And remember, if it ain't high volume, it ain't loud enough. Now back to Shoot the Gap. With your host, Brian, the Amigo Baldwin. And we're back. All right, so let's go ahead and let's jump into some shoot or cease fire uh, for week four. 
All right, so we're going to have it where uh, Connor is able to use his incredible announcing voice. Thank you, sir. Yeah, he'll he'll uh, announce the the um, the games, and then I will uh, say something. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, for the first game of the week, the Minnesota Vikings and the New Orleans Saints are going to face off. It's a forty-one and a half point over under with the Vikings as three-point favorites. Back to you, Brian, the weatherman. <laughs> You know, what's interesting is that, that that there was a podcast that wasn't doing the weather, but now they now they do talk about it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, no. Yeah. Th- this one's actually going to be in London. It's going to be that eight thirty in the morning game. So, yeah. If you have anybody in in the games, or if you just want to watch it, you might want to go to go to church on Saturdays. So yeah. Can, yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> watch, I, watch the game. I just want to say this really quickly. I don't want to take a lot of time on each of those games because we're right at half an hour, so we can make really good time on this episode. But. Every London game is always a shit show. There's always a bunch of fuck shit that goes on, and whatever you think's gonna happen, that's not how it goes. So be forewarned. <laughs> good, good advice. Uh, it's gonna be 60 degrees, or forecast to be 60 degrees, 73 percent chance of rain, and five mile an hour wind. All right, so um, let's just do this, okay? Um, let, let's just to kind of make it like you said, go faster. Um, I'll just go ahead and we'll just go from like, instead of doing like you pick a team and I pick a team, you know, let's try to go ahead and shoot it where we go. Quarterbacks, running backs, you know, just I like and that. Then, and I talk like about that. that way. Yeah. Let's yeah. try to do that. And let's just see if that, if that helps like things while also informing our listeners. Sounds um, like a plan. So, okay. Let's start off with, with quarterbacks, Kirk cousins. Um, how are you? What's your thoughts on him? Uh, uh shoot it, shoot a ceasefire. Let's do that. Shoot a ceasefire. You know what? That depends on if uh, Dalvin Cook suits up. If Dalvin Cook doesn't, he is. He is. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Um. You know what? Uh, I'm actually leaning towards ceasefire. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. I am. I am on the other side. In the um. Well, hang on. Let's think about this. Seventy-three percent chance of rain. He plays in a dome. Okay. And it's a London and game. It's a London game, so he might think that's a prime time game. And you know how he does a primetime game. Yeah. 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 I think you're right. It's I think you're actually, right. Actually, it's 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 a lime time game. Yeah, so whenever <laughs> oh yeah. So, so so whenever you do the math, yeah, you should cease fire on Kirk Cousins. Yeah, no matter whatever whatever data that you can pick pick up, it's all moot at the point from what we just told you. So yeah, I think I would I would cease fire. Um you know, I, you already know Jameis Winston's doubtful, so it's gonna be Andy Dalton. Um, and any, Voldemort. yeah, right, in Voldemort. Any interest in, in uh, Andy Dalton? No. Yeah, that's a ceasefire. Yeah, on that one too. Uh, let's jump to the running backs. Yeah, this might actually go a little bit faster. Uh, Dalvin Cook. Okay, uh, okay. Tell me who who would you shoot on in the end? These two names, Dalvin Cook and Alvin Kamara. Fuck. Honestly, gun to balls. I'll shoot on both of them. Okay. Okay. I'm with that. I don't shoot like I used to shoot on Kamara, but I, I, you know, I I go into the back of the alley. I say, "Don't make eye contact," and I, I, I still give him a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, um, yeah, he returned. I mean, he had 17 touches and 73 total yards. You know, yeah. Well, we're 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 trying to do good stuff here. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, but he's in a great spot. I mean, Minnesota's been like, I mean, dude, they've been really easy with against the run with the fifth highest success rate. Ninth highest EPA allowed, so yeah, um, I would go ahead and shoot on him. And of course, Dalvin Cook, dude, you're never going to cease fire on him. You know, he's got now he now he's he's blossomed and transformed into his his playing self, which is Dalvin Cook with the device. You know, <laughs> but, you know, so now he's he's, he's super. He's, you know, activated. he's now yes, exactly activated. So watch those uh, stiff arms, man. They're going to be ultra powered. It's going to be crazy. Um, any interested in any, so yeah, shoot on him. Um, and, and I would obviously say shoot on Alvin sh- Kamara back to the um, receivers. Obviously we're shooting on uh Jefferson. Okay. No. Okay. So Alexander Madison, Mark Ingram. Nah. Um, yeah. 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 Nah. Only if you hear at the beginning of the game that Cal- uh, Dalvin yeah. Cook didn't make it, then Alexander Madison. Uh, and yeah. if you hear that, that Kamara's didn't make it, then Ingram. Okay. Wide yeah. receivers. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, throw out the wide Justin Jefferson, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna shoot yeah. on Thielen too, just because uh, Cook is a little banged up, but uh, that's about it. I mean, Saints really only guy to shoot on is Alave, 
And then uh, I guess technically you could count Taysom Hill since he's a tight end, so he's still technically a receiver. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, well, let's stay with wide receivers, then we'll go to t- Okay, well, those are the only three wide receivers I would think of. Okay, yeah, Michael Thomas has been ruled out. We already talked about that. Yeah, uh, uh, Yeah, Olave is the only yeah. receiver on on New Orleans. And I agree with you. I, um, there's some talk about K, uh, KJ Osborne. I mean, you feeling that at no. all? Okay, yeah, me either. But yeah, I, I like the uh, the Adam Thielen thing. Um, it it makes it, it makes complete sense. Um, so yeah, I would go with that. I'm trying I'm trying to make sure not to go too deep into things. Jarvis Landry, no, no. See, uh, see. Um, the two uh, two tight ends, Irv Smith Jr., no, nope. Juwan Johnson, no, nope. and uh, uh, and Voldemort. Yes, I can't. Yeah, that's the only tight end that start was Voldemort. Yeah, I'm not starting I, either I, defense or either kicker. Uh, now, if but let's let's make sure and clarify something that connor is living the high life with tight end he has mark andrews so he's just yeah. skating along living I have life the best tight end i don't have to it, worry about any he's of these. floating yeah, yeah right but see i'm i'm in i'm in the muck dude all right i'm in you know i'm in tight end hell so i would say go ahead and shoot on irv smith jr but not Jawan johnson i would definitely do voldemort for the reasons that he said and and in those specific situations but irv smith jr i think should be fine for the doldrums of tight end uh move on I'm gonna take. Let's see. Oh, so one one question. One question. Who's yeah. the one mu- must start player on, on that? Justin Jefferson. Ah, I was gonna say Dalvin Cook. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the 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 Vikings, and I'm gonna take the the over. Okay. All right, the Cleveland Browns are playing the Atlanta Falcons. It's going to be a 47-point over-under with the Browns as one-point favorites. Back to you, Ryan. The Dome. No weather. Don't worry about that. All um, right. So, quarterbacks, Jacoby Brissett, Marcus Mariota, any interest in any? <laughs> no. Yeah, I know there's a lot of talk about Marcus Mariota and uh, and also Jacoby because of, like they're talking about the defenses and how banged up. Uh, the Cleveland defenses, you know, with Miles Garrett out and Clowney out, you know, it's, yeah, but yeah, if you don't have to, um, what if you're the DAC owner, if you are the DAC manager, is any of these guys something you would fill in or the Mac Jones manager, if there are, if there are any deep league, I guess. No, I looked Matt Ryan's way for those guys. Ah, okay. Uh, running backs, uh, Nick Chubb, Obvious. Kareem Hunt. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know about Kareem Hunt. Either way. I don't know about Cream Hunt. I'd start Nick Chubb, but I, I don't. I don't think Cream Hunt's worthy anymore. Ah, Cream Hunt, yeah, yeah. That's why I, I traded him in our league. That was one of the reasons why. Um, Good trade. Just be. Well, thanks, man. Thanks. I needed to shore up my my QB because I'm riding with Wilson. <laughs> that's right. You know? In a very yeah. limited. The hat got me. The hat got me. Homerism. I homered it. I homered it. That was my own fault. But um, but yes. But no, Cream Hunt. Um, he does have blowout weeks, blow up weeks, the uh, blow up and then blow out. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the blow up week was week one, blow out was week two, week three. Uh, but you know, um, he's a good flex option, you know, because that he has a somewhat solid floor. Uh, Coderell Patterson, and any interest in him? No, nope. I do, I do, I do. Um, if if he's if he plays, I mean, he's been a question the whole time, but if he plays, I I think that he's going to do great. I mean, he did great last game. You know, I think he's um, old. Okay, yeah, I know that dude, but uh, but but play him until he blows out. I mean, I know I think he's, he's already to... blown out. No, he's starting to sputter. This is where you like put love on it, dude. You know, you uh, put a little duct tape on it. You know, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Yeah, put tape that muffler back on. It'll be all right. Okay. Um. Yeah, but Tyler Algier. Uh, um. Wide receivers: Amari Cooper, Donovan Peoples Jones, Drake London. Any of these guys catch your attention? Uh, Cooper. I'm starting none of the other guys. Hey, hey. hey, you hear me? I sound like oh, Yoda. Yeah, starting to bust. <laughs> when you yeah. will. Yeah. Um, I like Cooper, you know, especially with the, how he uh, showed out last game. Uh, but Drake London, Drake London, man, he's certified, dude. I mean, he, you know, he he he's got the skills, you know, and so it's difficult. He's got the to sauce. Sit smiling. Yeah. So it's but here, here's what I noticed though, and that's gonna be a perfect segue. Is that with uh, Drake London? It's like if Drake London eats, then Pitts starves. That's what it looks like right now. Then when Pitts eats, L- L- London starves. So it's really weird how how that is. At least right now 
with less than a month in the season. That's what it looks like. But tight ends, David Njoku, Kyle Pitts. Uh, which one? Or neither? Or both? Um, I would start Kyle Pitts. Gun to balls. Same here. Same here. Absolutely. Would a gun have yes, to be but... to your balls? Uh, no, 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 no. Because nice. I, I, if I had Pitts and I, I drafted him in the fourth round, what and I, I, uh, right. And at this point, I would have to either play him or trade him. You know, that's the only choices. Sitting him is not. You know, at this Agreed. point, right. And so I would, I if. I personally probably would have taken that last week and probably traded him. Okay. You know, that's what that's what I would have done. And you could probably get a haul for him because of his name and how thin, you know, tight end is and let somebody else deal with that. And then just go into the doldrums. David Njoku, I'd be really happy to start him, uh, you know, to shoot on him, you know, if uh, if I traded off Kyle Pitts. Well, there's um, a really, I'd be happy about it. Yeah, there's a really cool guy in your league who might be willing to trade you something for him. Or David Njoku? Yeah. Oh, th- uh, no, dude, I'm good. I have, <laughs> yeah, I, I have, I have Tanya and Conklin. I'm living uh, yeah, that life. I know. I'm, 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 fine. I'm messing with you. I would, no, 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 I would no, try you're to not. Trade. Yeah, I know. No, I would, you're not. I'll try to trade rape you, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right. No, no, what I got is about the same. You know, we're just concentrating on this game, and that's why it seems like it's the sauce of the day, but it's just the sauce of the moment. Speaking of, let's move on to the next one. Speaking of sauce of the moment, one team that. I'm not going to lie. I don't like either of these teams. The Washington Commanders and the Dallas Cowgirls. That, that can't be right. It says Cowgirls on my cards. Um, oh, I just, just, just got to read what it says. The Washington Commanders and the Dallas Cowgirls are facing off. It's a 41.5 over under with the Cowgirls as three point favorites. Back to you, Brian. The Weatherman. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Again, another dome, you know, but uh, I, I, I'm sorry. It, to me, it looks like a toilet. So it's like a toilet dome. Okay, I'm sorry. That's what it looks the like. The toilet bowl. Yeah. See, that was already taken. That's why I had to use Cowboy Stadium. Hey! hey. No, that's, a, that's a Houston joke. Uh, and so, uh, quarterbacks, any of the C's you care about? Carson Wentz or Cooper Rush? Yeah, I'd start Wentz if I'm down bad. I'm nervous about Wentz. Uh, does it make you, you know, Wentz? Uh, it does. Uh, after last week's performance, and Dallas Cowboys defense is a good defense. And they're playing in Dallas, you know, so, you know, it's um, it was like the whole rivalry when there were the Redskins, the Cowboys and Redskins. That kind of still bleeds over with the commanders and the football team for that. So, um, yeah, right. And so I would be nervous to start Carson Wentz if I didn't have to. I would like to do something else. I'd probably actually do Cooper Rush over Carson Carson Wentz. Dude, I'm okay. sorry. He's undefeated. He's undefeated. You're not wrong. Um, can we? I don't think they need much more of our time. Can we move on to that? Um, Running backs, Antonio Antonio Gibson, J.D. McKissick, Ezekiel uh, Elliott, yeah, yeah, Tony yeah, Pollard. Yeah, yeah. Shoot on any of those guys or cease fire. Okay, in fact, let Pollard. me go. Pollard. Po- okay, okay, Pollard. Who else? I don't know. Antonio probably, Gibson, J- J.D.? Uh, probably not. Zeke? Probably not. I mean, I'd I, I start up Zeke in my flex. Okay, yeah, I, I would I would shoot on Zeke yeah, in, in a flex situation, especially after the game that he had. Um, but with Antonio Gibson, I mean, you know, he's he is averaging 14 and a half touches and 40 and a half total yards. OK, he sees his targets drop each week. All right. He's being inefficient, you know, with the volume. So and Curtis Samuel start- is there now. Yeah, he's starting to fall and fall. And uh, J.D. McKissick. Yeah, if, if you don't believe in McK- uh, Gibson, then you're not going to believe in McKissick. So, yeah, uh, Pollard is the is the main guy that I would Zeke. OK, but uh, no, uh, Pollard, Pollard is it's all about Pollard. Yeah. Um, Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson, Curtis Samuel. Is uh, it, yeah. It... So Curtis Samuel is actually, in my opinion, the wide receiver one of the commanders now, and he is in my flex in my auction league and I am starting him. Hmm. Okay. Uh, not, so no Jahan Dotson or Terry nope. McLaurin. Nope. I like that. I'm playing against, uh, Terry McLaurin. So yeah, let's see what he has. but he hasn't really busted. You know, he just hasn't been what you expected. He hasn't been scary. He's been. More like a, a Harry Terry, if 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 you will, or Gary yeah. Terry, Gary Terry. Yeah. That's his new nickname. <laughs> okay, okay. Larry right. Terry, not Mary Terry. <laughs> hey, no. that's offensive. No. No. Uh, Jahan Jahan Dotson, I, I I still like him. Uh, he's he is what he is. You know, he's a big play guy, but um, he is somebody that is that he needs his volume to get you know a little higher. Uh, but when he does get it, he's pretty efficient with it. 
So um, I do like uh, Dotson mm -hmm. uh, as a flex, absolutely. Uh, C.D. Lamb, Noah Brown, um, any of those guys? Nope. Uh, C.D. C. Yeah, Lamb? C.D. No. Lamb, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, C.D. Lamb looked like he had a good game. Looked like they're starting to get it together. There. Um, I'm not cheating on any of the tight ends. I don't think they're worth their time. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, fine. I mean, I would say I was just going to say that Logan Thomas. Yeah, he disappointed last week. Yeah, and he does a high run rate route rate, but again, that defense is really good. Yeah, and then Dal and Dalton Schultz. Um, I you know he he was his first game back from a, a pretty uh, serious injury, so you don't want to start him there. You just want to make sure and check and see. Hmm. Okay. Cool. All right, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take Washington, and I'm gonna take the over. Okay. Moving on. One. Whoa! View. Hang on. Hang what? on. Washington. Wow. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Okay. I. Yeah. I don't agree with that one. But cool. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm feeling saucy. But hey, you, you you didn't agree with the Bengals one either, and I was I was right about that one. So. Well, who, you know, dude, I'm knows? not going to say that. I'm one in one of your text groups. You said I was right about the Dolphins, and then the other one you put I was right about. Uh, no, about I Cincinnati one. Oh, really? I said the Dolphins, and I. No, yeah, I was... you did. You did on one of them, dude. Yeah. So. I was going to say anything, but you keep bringing it up, so <laughs> keep going. Let's move on, move on. Okay, so one team that was bad and is one and two is playing a team that's good and is one and two. The Seattle Seahawks are playing the Detroit Lions in the Battle of the Blue. It's a 48 over and under with the Lions as three and a half point favorites. Back to you, Brian. <laughs> uh, dome, so again, nothing to do with, deal with the weather. Uh, quarterbacks, anybody, Geno Smith or Jared Goff? Yeah, I'll start Jared like Goff. Can't believe I'm saying that. I'm really disappointed in all the quarterbacks I've had to believe in this year. Even without Amon Ross St. Brown? No, no, I think I still I can't believe this, but you know, the Lions are fucking good, bro. Yeah, and the and I think it's more on how bad the Seattle defense. I mean, it's a nice matchup. So Yeah, and the Lions uh, need a win, and I definitely think that they are going to bully the Seahawks. Okay. Yeah, Geno Smith though, I, I would I would cease fire. Correct. Um the running backs, dude, how about all the love for Rashad Penny? I mean, you you are one of the people that are a believer or were was a believer Rashad for, Penny. Yeah, I was point. one of his earliest fans and now mm -hmm. I am not even slightly interested in him. But you know what? Nope. I am interested in some Jamal Williams. Okay. So no Ken Walker, okay? So nothing um, in that backfield. To, to quote Barack, I am cease firing on the Seattle Seahawks organization as a whole. Oh, interesting. Okay, then that's going to make this a lot faster then. Uh, okay, so Jamal, Jamal Williams, of course, we already talked about that. Craig Reynolds, he's the relief of Williams. I mean, he should see a handful of touches. Any interest in him? Uh, like, like, like 12, 14, but not 10, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's, I, would, he's a I, would, I would look McKissick's way before that i would grab him but i wouldn't start him yeah i'd, I'd, I'd hold him in case williams yeah gets injured. yeah uh wide receivers dk metcalf tyler lockett you already said you would cease fire on all them yeah i'm, um, I'm not yeah. gonna i would still start dk and i would start dj shark for the lions i i would have i would have tried to sell dk after if, if it was me if it was me yeah because i mean i'd be waiting for that one blow up and be like oh thank the lord and then see what you can get for him um but tyler lockett he seems to be yeah, I mean, he has a favorable matchup against the cornerback uh, Mike Hughes, so you know uh, that might be. And there's a there's a, there's they are kind of in sync uh, with Geno Smith, so there's there's some hope there. So maybe a flex option. Amon Ra, we just talked about him. DJ Shark, we talked about him. Uh, he's going to be gimpy, and of course we talked about Josh Reynolds. Was I able to sway you on Josh Reynolds? Would you, would you shoot on no. Josh Reynolds? No. What about DJ Shark? Mm, yeah, I already said I was shooting on him. All right. Okay, tight ends, Noah Font, TJ Hawkinson. Nope, they're going to use him for blocking, bro. Or at least um, Hawkinson. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you think uh, Hawkinson's gonna, Hawkinson is going to get some love now that uh, St. Brown's out? That, that's what happened last time. You know, when like when there was no Swift and no uh, Amon Ross St. Brown, it was TJ Hawkinson time. That was last year, and nothing's changed since then. So one and one equals two. So, yes, All I would right. shoot on TJ Hawkinson, but not on Noah Font. Okay. Or Will Disley. Okay. Well, uh, do you have anyone else you want to talk about? Nope. I'm taking the under, and I'm taking the Lions. Yeah, just a little, little, uh, little hint. When I get to the tight ends, there's really, I mean, unless you want to talk about the defenses I, or the kicker, I don't know. 
I, we're, we're trying to, you know. Oh, cool. Hit, hit okay, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The yeah, ten. we're trying to. <laughs> this is the run the ball matchup of the week. Two teams that can conceivably do nothing else well. The Tennessee Titans are facing off against the Indianapolis Colts. It's a 43 point game with the Colts as three and a half point favorites. Back to you, Brian. Tell, stop me if you heard this before. It's in a dome game, so we don't have to worry about the weather. Okay. Uh, quarterbacks, Ryan Tannehill, Matt Ryan. Okay, you said earlier that you would uh, you would shoot on Matt Ryan in certain situations as the you know, so are you holding it now for, or is was that just a off off the cuff moment? Well, if we look back at the tape, that was comparing him to quarterbacks Jacoby Brissett and uh-huh. uh Marcus I, I Mariota. Said, I said certain situations. Yes. <laughs> well in those situations, yes. But not Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I I would agree with that. Um, the uh, with getting Michael Pittman back, I agree. Mm-hmm. Ryan Tannehill, mm, nope, no, no. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any reason. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I uh, don't. I wouldn't buy into what happened last week. Last week was against Las Vegas, yeah. and you know, and apparently, what happens in Vegas with the quarterbacks stays in Vegas. <laughs> you know, so nice. running going to to the running backs, uh, Derek Henry. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, of course. And yeah, absolutely. J Train, you're starting both of those guys. Obviously. Even though yeah. even though I, I I got sucked into it, I actually found myself going into the weather forecast of Vermont to see if there was gonna be any snow on Sunday and I couldn't find it. So if that if that means something to you, you know, regarding Derek Henry, you know, there's not gonna be any snow in at least in Montpelier. But, yeah, 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 but believe believe you me, the weatherman will have the info first. Uh I'm not gonna lie. Wide receivers, it's Pittman, and that's it. Uh, Jonathan Taylor? Did you say Jonathan Taylor? Yeah, yeah, J Train. Okay, 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 okay. What about Hines? No. Nope. Yeah, I, w- I wouldn't see. I would see firing him too. Yep. Uh, yeah, of all the wide receivers and on both teams, even though the guys that you heard the uh, OC, the offensive coordinator for the Titans say that he wanted to get more work for Trey Burke. I would still only only one I agree with, with. In fact, I would go not only wide receiver but tight end. Put them all Thank together. You. Yeah, the only one that we're going to shoot on is Michael Pittman. Yeah, all the other ones cease fire. You know, hopefully you don't have to have to do any of those. Mm-hmm. And I want to take this moment to apologize to all the listeners for Austin Hooper. I know I was pretty high on him, and I apologize. I was right. Uh, right we're going to take on. we're going to take the Titans for this game, and we're going to take the under. All right, move on. All right, the Chicago Bears and the New York Giants are both teams that we don't really understand why they're two and one, but they are. And now one of them is going to be a much more believable two and two, while another team is an even more unbelievable three and one. It's going to be a 39.5 over under with the Giants as giant three point favorites. Back to you, Bry. 59 degrees, 60% chance of rain and 16 to 20 mile an hour wind. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I'm, I'm just gonna say what we're all thinking. This is a run, another run the ball game, man. This is another. Yeah. Run, it's gonna be a run heavy game. The, the, there's no reason to talk about Daniel Jones or Justin Fields, especially right. since Dan, Daniel Jones is out and Brian Hoyer. Come on, you're not gonna do that to yourself, are you? I mean, how much do you hate yourself? You're not good. Yeah, so, he he does yeah. not do the name Brian Justice, even though he spells it correctly. Thank you. He does spell it correctly, not like a wiener. Exactly. And uh, yeah, he doesn't spell and, it like James Connor spells his name. <laughs> Uh, Saquon Barkley and uh, Ka- uh, Khalil Herbert. Yep, 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 on both of them. Yep. Uh, wide receivers. We're already nervous about the wide receivers because of the weather. I'm not I just, shooting uh, on any of them, bro. No. Fuck them all. No, no, yeah, no, no, Darnell Mooney. No, you know, no, no, whoever you you want to pick out of the wide receiver bin. No, no, and same thing with the tight ends. No, would, no. Would you Col- like to take the second to talk some shit about Cole Komet? No, I just apologize again. I apologize. For- yeah, because I recommended him too, and I held on to him, but not as long, you know, as you know, I, I let go of him pretty pretty quick. You know, I think after the second week, first yeah. week it was like ah rain. Second week, man, you suck. Nah. <laughs> it was Two out. strikes. Come here, yeah, come on, come yeah, no, yeah, come here, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's out. Uh, Bellinger, no, I'm not doing that. The weather's a f- move on to the. Uh, it, oh, it, this is one where you can talk about the defenses. Um, the I'm taking the my- Bears. I'm sorry. I'm taking the Giants' defense. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. If I had to, if I had to choose one out, of there. that's the question I'll ask. How about that? Of each of each game, we'll ask which defense would you take out of all. Let's just do that. 
and that way you don't. I kind of want to. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to like on the show pick up the Giants defense and drop the Chargers. Wow, wow, that's big. Yeah, because that was your ride or die. Well, I'm I'm thinking about it. The the I've I've kind of yeah. We 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 can talk about that later. Uh, we're taking the under if you haven't already figured it out, and we're taking the Giants. Well, if you have, if you could do it like in a minute, you know, uh, if you uh, want to go and share, share with the people, the Giants is their defense is sneaky good. It's better than you think it is. Kind of like the Bengals. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. All right. Move on. The Jacksonville Jaguars and the Philadelphia Eagles are going to battle it up. It's the green team matchup of the week. It's going to be a 45 and a half point over under and it's a revenge game. Doug Peterson is going to try to get revenge against his former team. The Eagles are six and a half point favorites. Back to you, Bri. 59 degrees, 80% chance of rain, 17 to 20 mile an hour. <laughs> okay. So, so far in these games, Connor, it's either been a dome or, or fuck shit ne- weather. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So these teams need to buy it, build a dome. If there's no proof that you need a dome in your stadium, what are you doing without a dome? This is the way I, I think they should, we should all have domes. It'd be better for I mean, if the NFL is so money hungry, just give everyone a fucking dome. Why don't you instead of making people play through shit? No. All right. Uh, quarterbacks. Talk to me. I'm Jalen starting Hurts. both of them, bro. I'm starting both of them and I'm excited about it. OK, Trevor Lawrence. Dude, that defense is is, is uh, Philadelphia is stout. So I don't know. I'm don't feeling know. saucy. I'm, I'm in the okay, moment. Okay. I'm loose and comfortable. Okay. Okay, this is this is actually this is the, the moment. Okay, everybody, if you're a manager of Trevor Lawrence or or Christian Kirk uh, or any of the wide receiver, or actually of all the players, uh, James Robinson included, yeah. everybody, yeah, if they're able to produce in this game, then you got to set and forget um, player on. You. All right, so this is a big one. This is a big one. Last week was big against the Chargers, but they were a little big banged up. But let's see what they do against Philadelphia. Um, I if I have Trevor Lawrence, but I'm going with uh, Russell Wilson against Vegas. Um, I'm betting on that, and because I just don't want to. And also, I have Philadelphia's defense. So I don't want to play my a quarterback against my defense. That kind of helps sway me. But I can see that. I can see it. I wouldn't be mad if you, if you started Trevor Lawrence, especially on the streak that he is. And if you watched him play, um, he's coming on into his own. That's why I traded it's for him. It's almost like he has a real coach now. All right, almost, almost, right? Uh, the running backs, I think there's only one that I'd feel comfortable with of all of them, and that's Mr. Robinson. Here's yeah, to James you, Robinson. Mr. Robinson. Yeah, and uh, Miles Sanders, uh, you know, he's he, he's got limited, he's limited by the lack of work at the goal line and as a... And Jalen Hurts. So, so yeah, so that that's just a problem. Yeah, Jalen Hurts runs stuff in, absolutely. Travis Etienne Jr., um... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. He was, I mean, he's actually a pretty good flex option. I mean, I think he could be, especially in a PPR. Um, I th- I think he's coming to his own. I know, I know you're, you're James Robinson. So you're like, ah, oh, but you know, the only thing that can't, you know, only, the only one that matters is Robinson to you, but to everybody else, uh, Travis ETN to the unlucky ones that do not have Robinson ETN would be a wide receivers, Christian Kirk, Zay Jones, um, any of the, are you 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 starting yo christian kirk aj brown devonta smith all right then everybody else we can move on uh tight ends um and i agree i agree i agree i agree shoot i would see some on the other ones dallas goddard dallas goddard i meant uh you know he only he only had a 64 percent snap share and you know 56 percent route participation um but he missed a lot of the part of the game uh dealing with a shin injury Okay, and uh, he's back now, so I think he could be trusted. Um, Evan Ingram, any, any, are you buying no. any stake in that? Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, the hi- history no. is not on his side. Uh, he's Robert he Tun- is Jordan Reed 2.0. Okay, Gerald Everett or Evan Ingram? Uh, gun to balls. Everett. Yeah. Oh wow! There you go. Um, the one defense you would start in this match? Eagles. Same here. All right. Moving on. All right. In the ugly uniforms, ugly teams, ugly franchises matchup of the week, the New York Jets are playing the Pittsburgh Steelers. 
There's nothing exciting at all the commentator could say about this game, so at this time he will remind you that he always likes to bring up Ben Roethlisberger's allegations. It's going to be a 41.5 point game with the Steelers as 3.5 point favorites. Back to you, Brian. It's going to be 62 degrees, a 50% chance of rain, 10 mile an hour or so. Anytime you see 50% of the chance of rain, that's basically the weatherman going, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, that's basically what's happening. Flip, so. flip a coin. So, the weather, I don't know. All right, we'll see if it rains. We'll see. We'll see what the Lord says. All right, so quarterback, uh, Zach Wilson, no. No. Mitch Trubisky, no. no. So, don't waste any time on that. No. no. Najee, Najee Harris, Brees no. Hall, or, or Michael. Yeah, I'll start Brees Hall. Uh, that's that's about it, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, yeah. Brees Hall is starting to take over. He's starting to, little by little, he's taking over. I mean, he outsnapped Carter. For the first time all season, 51% to 49%. Now targeted Carter, 11 to 2. You know, so, because he and he got all the snaps in two-minute drill. He's eking in, man. He's eking in. So, if um, if if you can, I don't know if you can now, but you can try to go and go get Brees Hall. Because uh, he's he's starting to grow. He's trying to get mighty. Uh, Michael Carter, uh, managers, I, I would not shoot on Michael Carter. I'd fire him. Um, yeah, so, hopefully, you have a better option than Michael Carter. Michael Carter managers wide receivers uh Deontay Johnson um yep. that's, it, it, that's it. okay that's Garrett, it for the Garrett Wilson nah. Garrett Wilson so yeah you know man okay I've I've heard a lot where they they said I agree with you by the way I agree with you George Pickens you can pick him up put him on your bench see what happens but dude he only saw like 20 22 percent target share he's not doing he made know, one great catch and everyone's overreacting Phenomenal, phenomenal. Yeah, Chase Claypool, he's going to be insane. So I wouldn't even put my my toe in that water. Um, but I've been I've heard a lot about uh, Garrett Wilson. You know, all the other uh, New York Jets uh, receivers are saying to, you know, like everybody's universally like ceasefire. But Garrett Wilson, they're like, oh, the talent, the talent, the talent. No, no, nope. I cease firing on everything until you see what happens with Zach Wilson. I have Tyler Conklin, and even though he's like tight end four of the um of, of the season. I am not shooting on him. Why? Because I want to see what happens with Zach Wilson. Uh, Pat Fryer move. Uh, would you shoot on him, Connor? Yeah, if I was you, but not me because I have Mark Andrews. Oh, okay. well, no, dude. This, oh, it's, when I say you, I'm trying to say like you. No, I'm, I'm, to I'm talk. trying to say like if you're if you're in that situation, you know what I mean? Yes. I'm I'm trying to say talk to the to the listeners, advise them if they should or not. If who you gives a have, shit who you have? If you have okay. Fryermuth, okay, and that's the best tight end on your team, and like you know Everett isn't available, Taysom Hill isn't available, uh, you know none of those other guys that are a little more enticing. Maybe Evan Ingram aren't available. I would start Fryermuth. But that's probably the only universe in which I'm starting fire move. So which defense of all those, well, both of them would you? God, neither. Oh, no. Pittsburgh Steelers, dude. 100%. I mean, Hands down. Not even a question. No, dude, uh, it's Zach Wilson. He okay. throws pick sixes. And, the, and, and yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be great. But what were you saying you about Miss, me, uh, you and me Fitzpatrick? Over. Mika you said Fitzpatrick, Fitzpatrick is out. He's out? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. He's okay. The, he's the best nice. defensive player not named TJ Watt on their team. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Because yeah, I, uh, I was thinking about picking up the Steelers, and that's why I decided not to. Yeah. Zach Wilson, though. Uh, Zach Wilson is, uh, he he's a turnover machine, and he hasn't played a game yet. Okay. And when he did play last time, it wasn't that good. So, and all the reports are that it was that he was not uh, very accurate, and so not very accurate. Uh, Pitt, Pittsburgh Steelers, they the way they do their defense is by confusing the quarterback. It seems like he's easily confused. So, yeah, Steelers, I would go with. Steelers. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna lie. The rest of these games are really easy. So let's go into lightning speed. This is probably go. the most exciting go. game we have left. The Buffalo Bills at the Baltimore Ravens. Back to you, Brian. Minka Fitzpatrick clears concussion protocol, so Minka Fitzpatrick will be in. Minka Fitzpatrick yeah. is gonna play. There, there, you have it, guys. Fitzpatrick, yeah, Fitzpatrick, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. It's, uh, check this out. Sixty. It's gonna be sixty degrees, ninety-four percent chance of rain, thirteen to fifteen mile an hour wind. Um, but yeah, that should not. 
that should not uh, sway you from any of it. Uh, Josh Allen, yes. L- uh, Lamar Jackson, yes. J.K. Dobbins, no, of course not. What he's going to do first. Devin Singletary, how about that one? That one's a weird one. I'm not starting him. The RB1 is still okay. Josh Allen. Ah, 11 targets in week three. <laughs> no? Okay. No. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would as a flex if he had to, but I would not. I wouldn't want to. I would do that. It would not. I would not be enjoying my life. If I did it. The wide receivers. Um, of course, you're you're shooting on Gabe Davis. Um, I'm not, especially now, because, dude, he's got you know he's got some injuries and slipping around the mud's not cool. But I can see the path. I can see the path. I can see the path. Okay. I'm not. I don't. I'm, I don't hate the decision. I just you know. So I'm not trying to convince you not to. It just seems a little weird. Uh, Stephon Diggs, of course. Um, Isaiah McKenzie, Rashad Bateman. Any interest? Yeah, I'll shoot on Rashad. Okay. Yeah, same thing with McKenzie. I would see his fire in him. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he's splitting so- slot usage with uh, <laughs> with uh, <laughs> Jameis and Garrett. Yeah. If you say slot usage too fast, it sounds like sausage. Yeah. So slot usage. So so he continues to split sausage with <laughs> James and Crowder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, uh, yeah, Rashawn, uh, Rashad Bateman. Yeah, um, well, he's the wide receiver one for Jackson. I really do not but, want to start a defense in this game, but if I uh, had to, it'd be the Bills. Yeah, uh, Dawson Knox. Any, nope. any, 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 yeah. Um, okay, moving on. The Los Angeles Chargers are playing the Houston Texans. Is this the get right game for the Chargers or the Texans? You tell me, Brian. It's uh, the dome game. I can tell you that. So don't have to worry about the weather there. Um, yeah, I would go in and uh, let's go and talk about quarterbacks. Justin Herbert. Yeah. Yep. Davis Mills. Nope. No. Nope, yeah. Um, Austin Eckler. Yep. Uh, Damian Pierce. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Especially with Bosa out. Yep. Um, Keenan Allen. Well, he's, he's out. He's, he's out. So, he's out. Yeah. My, okay. I'm not Mike Williams. Shoot on him. No, no, hell no. Mike fucking Williams? yeah, hell fucking yeah. Okay, uh, Joshua Palmer, De- De- uh, yeah. DeAndre Carter. Okay, okay, uh, Palmer, yes, Palmer, yeah, yes. Think, the other guy, no. I think I think he's a great flex. Uh, Carter, no. Uh, Brandon Cooks. Oh yeah. Oh, even with uh, with uh, Jackson back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Garbage time. Uh, okay, and any of the tight end Tex- Texans tight ends you you no. care? Okay, but but you like Gerald Everett? Yeah. I don't, but you do. Defense, if you had to choose one. Chargers. All right. Go. Moving on. The Arizona Cardinals and the Carolina Panthers are facing off the age-old question, who will win, red or blue? Back to you, Brian. I thought, is, is it red or blue or gray and blue? That, that, that was the yeah. Um, 66 degrees, a 24% chance of rain, 11 mile an hour win, so pretty. it's pretty good. Um, the uh, one quarterback you would shoot on, one you wouldn't. Guess which one? The short guy that's good at football, being Kyler Murray. Yep. And the uh, good-looking guy who's not good at football. Oh, you think he's good-looking? Interesting. Well, I mean, it's the the sponsors do. They keep giving him freaking commercials. Well, they got to give him something. He's definitely not. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm just saying. I'm, I'm guessing here. I'm grasping at straws. Uh, James Conner. Nah, nah I, I, I can't see myself doing it. What about you? Yeah. I will, as a flex. Six, 16 touches and 57 yards last week. No TDs, three catches. Well, that's bound to eh? ch- change. All right, all right, all right. I, I'm a, I'm a. What have you done for me lately, guy? So I would put him on the bench because I would like to see what he does. I'm calling um, it now. At least one touchdown for James Conner this game. Really against mm-hmm. Carolina's defense? Okay. Yeah, the right. Panthers are an easy team. Interesting. Christian McCaffrey, if he's playing, you got to. Yeah. But if but if not, then none of the, none of the running back. Um, DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, Marquis Brown, Greg Dortch, any of those? I'm feeling spicy. Everyone except Robbie Anderson gets to get shooted on. Uh, I can't agree with that. I'm like I said, DJ Moore hasn't done anything for me lately. I'm so, feeling saucy, bro. I see that. I see that. Yeah, but I'm feeling sober. Um, yeah, Robbie Anderson, I wouldn't. DJ Moore, no. Marquis Brown, uh, yes, I've, you saw what he did last week. You know, I mean, he commanded 17 targets. He got 14 catches for it, so obviously they're going to start going for him. Their college teammates have finally started hitting. Uh, Greg Dortch, uh, yes, but make sure and check out um, Rondell Moore. 
If Rondell Moore starts, Greg Dorch and Rondell Moore play the same uh, position. So it seems likely that uh, Dorch's uh, opportunities will start dwindling the more more that Moore plays. Mm. Nice. Um, tight end. The only tight end really is Zach Ertz. None of the tight ends, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what what defense? Uh, fuck, bro. The Cardinals. Oh, yeah, not me. i would be the pay. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, yeah. The, the the Cardinals. I don't think there's any mm-hmm. opportunity. There's nobody there. I think that I would choose the Cardinals. Right. Okay. Uh, the New England Patriots are playing the Green Bay Packers. I'm not gonna lie. My, this game doesn't really even get the full announcer experience. <laughs> uh, yeah. Especially even the weather doesn't even make it exciting. It's gonna be 63 degrees, eight percent chance of rain, eight mile an hour. It's a beautiful day to play some. Packer footballs. Um, Brian Hoyer, no. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, this is going to be easy. Um, not, I don't think there needs to be that much analysis. I mean, if you have them, I mean, Aaron Rodgers, I would go and shoot on, um, especially since uh, I'll jump. I'm going to break protocol real quick and go to the tight ends. Uh, no tight end. There's basically nobody you would you would shoot on for New England except for Ramondre Stevenson and, and Damian Harris, and that's it. Um, we already said that before, so no need to rehash it too, too deep. Um, but um, Aaron Rodgers, I would go and shoot on him with the simple fact that uh, I would shoot on Robert Tunyon because New England has given up the fourth most uh, touchdown to tight ends throughout the season. There you go. And so, yeah, so I think that the um, that Robert Tunyon has been eased into the into the game. That he hasn't been he has not been schemed out. He's been eased in because of his injury. He he got a lot more uh, snap share last game, and so I think it's going to be a lot more this time. And ro- I believe that Rodgers is going to be looking for him. And so I think he's Rob, Robert Tunyon's going to have a good game. And, of course, Aaron Rodgers. Um, we don't even need to talk about Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon. Yes, you're going to, sh- you're going to start them. You're going to shoot. They're going to do well. I'm not even worried about them. Unless do you think we need to. I mean, New England's run defense is 29th in the league. There we go. All right. We so, <laughs> okay, the, okay. So, yeah, there's, um, defense, if you, had to, if you had to choose. If you had to choose, which defense? Packers. Oh, absolutely. 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 No, Packers. no hesitation. Number one streaming option right there, Packers. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Moving on. All right. Um. The Sorry, my camera went out, but I'm back. The Denver Broncos and the Las Vegas Raiders in the AFC West matchup of the week. The Broncos are somehow 2-1. and one. Yeah. 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 Well, dude, you know... Um, because, you're, you know, you're a resident Broncos fan, so you know what? Even even though we're doing the lightning round, I'm gonna let you talk about all the Broncos players because I want to. God, your okay. Well, it's God's country, all right. So God favors his team. <laughs> favors the team from his country, you know. So that that's the only, that's the only explanation I have because I don't have a better better one as to why they're two and one. They haven't really even I been have playing. A better one. one. They played okay. the they played the Texans and the Niners. Okay. All right. All right. Now Wilson. Okay, he's number twenty-five in quarterback. Okay, he has thirteen fantasy points per game in standard, um, standard scoring, um, PPR, but whatever. Uh, but he has been better. All right. In reality, he's ranking number four in adjusted yards per attempt and number sixteen. Now, the one thing to keep in mind about this matchup is I can go and keep going with all these other numbers and make myself look real smart. But point is. This defense made Ryan Tanhill look good. All right? So, is Russell Wilson really that much different than Ryan Tanhill Start right this, now? This is the breakout. This, this is, is breakout. it. This is either this is it. Like if he if he does not do well this time then you got a problem. I mean, right? I'd, I'd start all options. I'd start Albert O if he's playing. i start Jerry Judy if he's playing. i start Sutton. i start Wilson. i start Javante. I might even start Gordon in the flex. Well, I guess there goes that promise of me being able to talk to all about all oh, Broncos. I'm yeah, sorry. no, no, there we go. No, no, it's fine. It was fun while it lasted. Um, Josh Jacobs, how about that w- running back? Um, dude, he looked good last week. Okay. Um, is he somebody that you would? I mean, I wouldn't because of I the wouldn't. defense. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, um, and also Devontae Adams. Of course, you're starting him, shooting on him. Wallet Mac too. Hollins, Mac Hollins, Mac Hollins. Nah, none of the other wide receivers. The only re- reason why I'm worried about Waller is Foster Moreau. Yeah, Foster Moreau is the, just, he's just that guy that always just takes away. I mean, did he, he had 50, Foster Moreau had a 56% snap rate in weeks two and three. 
All right, but that's enough to take away from Waller. So that makes me. Yeah. So anyway, but but he is the number two tight end with 198 yard yards. So yeah, you're right. You can't. You can't. And who's who's number one? He's fine. Um, I think it's Mr. Andrews. Mr. Andrews, oh, I think it is. Yeah. Crazy. So it yeah, looks like I now. said he was going to be the number one. Uh, anyway, I think we both know we're taking the Broncos defense. Yeah. Yep. So this is yep. probably going to be the most uh, exciting primetime game of the week. Uh, Cause I'm not looking forward to the game after this one, but the, the Kansas city chiefs and the Tampa Bay bucks are facing off in the battle of red. Uh, 64. <laughs> I didn't know it was my turn to talk. I thought you're right. going to do the over and under and all that, but whatever. Nah, we're, uh, we're short for time. 64, 64 degrees, 5% chance of rain, six mile an hour. So just a great, great weather to play football. Uh, real easy. Um, Tom Brady uh, and Patrick Mahomes. I view them about the same. I don't see any of one. I don't think anyone is. I have Mahomes the other. higher just because his uh, he's younger, and I think his options are uh, actually. You're right. They are even. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, what what you said about Mike Evans? I I agree a hundred percent. I think that the, that Tom Brady's going to come back out hard and mad and. Target targeting uh, Michael Evans, and I think Evans is going to play with a lot of passion. You know, they're going to be doing this whole, you know, Tampa strong. You know, this uh, trying to do gather people and give them something to, to cheer about it after going through such a rough time a few days. You know, for the past few days. So, and historically, I, that always works out. Yeah, and it's just like momentum. I think the momentum is going to be with with the Bucks. Um, so Patrick Mahomes, I, you know, I, 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 yeah, you're never going to sit him, but I don't. I wouldn't expect. Like a high, high game, even even in the normal situation without all the other stuff going, auxiliary. I still can't say that word. Uh, you know, stuff going around. Um, it's uh, the the Tampa Bay defense is real. It's a real thing. It is a real uh, Clyde, thing. Yeah, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, uh, Leonard, Candy Bone. Yeah, would you would you shoot on him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, For the doc, if, right. if Emo's still listening. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Leonard Fournette. I, I dude. Helms, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The the Buccaneers have allowed a league low nine point four fantasy points per game to opposing backfields. So you mean the, you mean I, the Chiefs? Yeah. No. No. For yeah. For, for the Eclair, I would shoot. I would cease fire on Eclair. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I see. So, which, yeah. yeah. You're right. I would sit Eclair this week. Good yeah. Call. Yeah. Yeah. Leonard Fournette. Absolutely. That's that's absolutely. a no. No. No analyst. Is he analysis said and, needs is to be he said and forget? Yeah, right now. Yeah, right now he is. For the notice. Uh, it's worth what? mentioning, what? Uh, guys, it's it's come to an end. The rule is gone. The rule is no more. I don't always take the Chiefs in the over on any Chiefs game anymore. <laughs> that, shit's, that shit's done. Oh, the end of an era. Oh, the end of an era. Well, they don't have Hill anymore. I thought about it long and hard. I was like, you know, without Hill, they don't have the the luster they used to. It's 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 done, though. Yep, and on that line, uh, cease fire on all the wide receivers. Yep. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. It's hard. It's hard to choose. Even though Juju Smith Schuster, if you have to, that'd be the one. But I still would. Mm-hmm. If you didn't have to. The real uh, move, uh, and as a guy that manages Juju, is hold him, hold him on your bench, and then, I guess, not hope that the other wide receivers get injured. But that's what you're kind of uh, waiting to happen. And then when that happens, you can start Juju probably. He ha- he had a really good game last week. He had a really good had... game, and you know the Tri- game before that he sucked, and that's the game the tr- I started him in. But uh, since he had a good game last week, should you have traded high, like sold sold high? No, I think you wait for more empirical evidence. Yeah, yeah, I don't think anybody would have gone after it either. Yeah. Mike Evans, yeah, but all the other wide receivers, I don't, think I would touch. Them. Yeah, um, tight ends, any tight ends? Uh, nope. Travis Kelsey, of course. Yeah, besides uh, but, Kelsey. But, but, no. Yeah, but not Cameron Brait. Which defense have all those guys? Bucks. Yeah. <laughs> no, no question. Yeah, that was a real fact. All right, last game. The Los Angeles Rams are playing against the San Francisco 49ers. One quarterback is really good, and the other is Jimmy Garoppolo. Back to you, yeah. Brian. <laughs> Another one's good looking. Come on. Uh, 56 handsome. degrees. Yes, yes. 8% uh, chance of rain. 11 mile an hour. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Jimmy G, actually, we turned, I mean, let's talk about the quarterbacks. Matthew Stafford, Jimmy G, anybody? 
like I'm starting like honestly for this game, like I'm starting Cup, I'm starting Debo. I'm I'm I don't think I'm starting Stafford yet. I'm definitely not starting Jimmy G. I'd start uh, what happened to what what happened to us talking about just quarterbacks and then running backs and what, my what bad. happened to that? It's, it's the last game though. So Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, but still You're still, right. Tradition. Trish, where's my decorum? Tradition. Yes. Tradition. Yes. You're right. Yes. Yes. Quarterbacks. Yes. Neither. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wide Agreed. receivers? Uh, uh wide receivers. Cooper Cup like you said, I mean Cooper Cup Debo Samuels, uh and Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk, yeah, yeah, he got his first touchdown the week, you know, last week. So you know, those three uh, guys. Yeah, yeah, uh, but not Allen Robinson. He's been a huge. Um, yeah, yeah I and, apologize for everyone. I made that short. Well, here's the thing. Okay, Allen Robinson's not somebody that you should outright drop unless you have to. If you're like a, a three and O team, two and one team, and you like your t- and you like how your team is going, then yeah, you can grab him, hold on to him, and wait for him to blossom. But if you're one and two, zero oh and three, and you need a win, yeah, you need somebody in that spot, then drop them. You know, you you don't have a chance. You don't have time to wait. You know, uh, on that on him. And while you're waiting, you're just gonna be building up the losses. Or you the could losses. trade low, like you could trade him for D Hop. You could trade him for you know some other guy that's disappointing. Just DJ Moore. Options. DJ Moore. Would you trade him for DJ Moore? No. Yeah, <laughs> Mister. I'm feeling saucy. Start DJ Moore. Oh, I'm not sure. I would trade. Yeah, listen to that. Okay, I, I dug it out, guys. Y'all saw it. Y'all saw it. I the got the cognitive truth. dissonance. Yes, uh, tight ends: Tyler Higby, George Kittle. Yeah, I'm starting both of those chaps. Uh, yes on Higby, no on Kittle. We already went over this. He's gonna be a blocker. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah, no, no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. And I agree with Connor. I don't think this game is gonna be as exciting as. I think that's anything. It. Uh, defense. What defense? Would you- Oh, we didn't even talk about the running backs, bro. Uh, well, Cam. Oh, yeah, Cam Akers. Or um, I'm sitting Darryl Cam Henderson. Akers. I'm sitting Henderson. I'm not gonna try to figure out which Niners running back is gonna do good this week, but I know one of them is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, Wilson. I mean, it's just. I don't know. I. I it just. It, it. Like. Like we. He had a good game last week. Okay. The chances of him having a good game against this defense. Not as high, it's even though that the yeah, even though the Broncos, their defense is not you know is no no joke. Um, it just I don't know. I, I I'm with Connor. I, it's very difficult for me to get too excited about Wilson because in the past and the history of Kyle Shanahan is that he'll he fools you. You know, it's Jeff Wilson, then it's going to be Mason, and then it's going to be hey look, we pulled up you know Marlon Mack off the bench, you know, and no, it's going to be Debo. I mean, it's it's just it seems like a ride. I don't want to buy a ticket. There we go. So anyway, yeah, that, and um, d- defense that you would start? Rams. Rams, interesting. All right, I think I might go 49ers, but they're like about it. the same. Yeah, like yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay, I think that did it, right? We, we did, did it. it! Hey, all right. So thank you, everybody, for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this time. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Hope you did, too. If you actually did enjoy the co- uh, if you enjoyed the content, please make sure to lo- hit the like button and the subscribe button. And go ahead and make sure and tell somebody about us. You know, help us grow the show. That'd be fantastic. Make sure. We're showers check out, and growers. Yeah. Make sure you check out Connor's book, uh, You Know Too Much. And also, also, please, if you if there's anything that you might agree or disagree with me on fantasy, or if you have any fantasy football questions, I do a weekly show. Okay, it's a live interactive sports show. All right, it's Drive Time Sports with Charlie and Brian on the high volume music radio.com. Uh, website or on the free high volume music radio app dude every thursday four to six yeah if you have any fantasy questions or if you just want to go ahead and talk about what i'm talking what i'm saying give me a call i'll be more than happy to talk about it but again drive time sports charlie and brian every thursday four to six connor time for your parting shot We're at the fourth week. This is now about the time that you can start panicking and you can start trying to trade guys if they're not working out for you. So uh, keep an eye on that. Look at, make a list of like everyone in your league, like who you think would be the most willing to trade, what they need, and try to trade your way up from some shitty player to an awesome player. Yeah, I, I agree with that all except for be more patient with the um, with the running backs. Okay. Make Especially sure, yeah, rookie running yeah, backs. The rookie running backs, yes. Those guys, be patient with them. And, and okay, rookies keep, in general. 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. That's the one, but but as far as everything else, like the Hoopers and the Comets and the Joneses, you know, the Julio Joneses, you know, the Allen Robinsons, you know, those are ones. Yeah, and the, and the can... DJ Moores. Uh, yeah. I, I don't ah. know, dude. He's just got so much talent. Yeah. Um, dude, my, my is real easy. Okay. Because, um, we, we have, we, we do a waiver wire show, so I should probably save this for the waiver wire, but I'm going to go ahead and just jump ahead right now. Maybe you can grab it now before the waiver wire mess. But it's like Connor said, it's week four. What's happening in two weeks? Two weeks. DeAndre Hopkins coming back. All right. If he's in your league, grab him. This is the time to do it. Nobody's talking about it. The games haven't run yet, so you could probably grab him without having to do that. That the uh, the training wheel, communist waiver wire mess. You know. So yeah, this is the time to start looking for D Hop. This is it. All right. So on behalf of Connor the Gut Marshal and me, your humble. Yeah, um, host, <laughs> Brian the Amigo Ball. We want to thank you again for watching. We hope that this year is an even better year than the last. <sighs> Connor, help me out with the closing line, my brother. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, remember, everyone, in fantasy football, as in life, don't dream don't it. Don't dream it. Be it. Be it. Yeah. 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 There you we gotta go. do it that way. Be it. Be it. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck in your games, guys. That'd be cool if that was our thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>